I will scare you. <laughs> Watch out! Drone. And I spent all afternoon trying to figure out which of my special acorn lights to string. And we made some great food, Sunny. Well, you did. Made most of it. Okay, all of it. I only helped by getting out of the way. But we did it the traditional way. You're all right. But I guess I was just hoping that tonight's celebrations would be like they used to be. Where did we go wrong? I don't know, but somehow we did. It was a total bust. Wait, wait, wait. Wait up. Even with the chaos, I didn't think it was a total bust. Oh, but maybe I was also too focused on scaring Misty and making the perfect fright house to notice. <laughs> and I couldn't see anything beyond my lights. <laughs> well, no pony could. Okay, fine. I was a little too swept up in my gadgets. You guys are already done your fright house? I missed it? <laughs> was me who missed it, uh, like the point, I mean. I started all this, and putting such high expectations of perfection on something is a recipe for disaster. Oh, tell me about it. I was just so focused on making this the best Nightmare Night scare -thon in Maritime Bay ever that I forgot to consider Maritime Bay in the first place. What was I thinking? These ponies don't need 27 events to fill a night and make it perfect. Yeah, not every holiday has to be perfect. We're exactly the same as it was last time, right? No, I'm genuinely asking. It doesn't have to be the same, right? Looks like no pony's home. The Dragonstone. Do you sense it too? It's definitely inside there, but it, it feels distant. Like she's keeping it somewhere... Hello? Oh no, come on, not a dungeon! Oh, you know I hate dungeons! You know what happens to a dragon in a dungeon? They chain us up? They chain us up! Oh, rat! I've been chained up in a dungeon before, Lux. Have you? It's not cool. It's not cool at all! Shh! Opaline could return at any moment. It's just been charged. Oh no, Lava and Jade. She has them. That means she must have... Chained them up! Once we retrieve the stone, we can rescue them and set everything right. It's got some kind of magic shield around the stone. Oh, that's where you're wrong, Spike. <laughs> I didn't put a spell around my dragon stone. I put a spell around my dragon! <laughs> oh, come on! I told you guys! You can't keep us in here forever! Oh, hush. You'd be surprised how long I can keep some dragon in here. You're mine now. My own little scaly army. How lovely. See? I can make friends, too. Friendship. <laughs> they used to tell me that was magic. <laughs> you know what I think is magic? <laughs> Power. And soon I'll have all of it. Dragonstone, right there. Cutie mark magic, incoming. Frisbeam, soon enough. Together trees. Did you see my tree upstairs? Poor little thing. I tried and tried to make it grow, but you know what feeds a together tree, right? Did you guess unity? 
That's correct. It's always unity. So my little tree would always just wither up and die. Why, even when I found it a real-life friend, it wouldn't grow. No matter. My little fake friend brought some real unity magic back to me, whether she meant to or not. And all it took was one tiny spark to activate my tree. To Zephyr Heights! <gasps> Every pony, we know this is scary. But we're going to be okay. No matter what happens, we're Zephyr Heights. And Zephyr Heights never... Never had a chance. Are you ready to surrender? Uh-oh. <sighs> I've got an idea! Hey, Opaline! You want our cutie marks? You can have them. But if you want to capture the most potent cutie mark magic, you should let my sister and I sing you a song. What? Oh, come on, a song. That's when our sparkle shines the brightest. Ooh, yeah, oh. yeah. So sing. Not here. This room has terrible acoustics. <laughs> Awful, huh? Okay, follow me. Me, 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 me. You do have a plan, right? Are you gonna let me in on it, or? Uh, hurry up! It isn't wise to test a fire alicorn's patience. Or we'll just skip the song and dance and... <gasps> hey, ponies, listen to me. You gotta hear what I'm saying. You've got the sparkle deep inside. You've got a talent worth displaying. Sometimes it feels a little hopeless. But things aren't always what they seem. Admit, you two put on a pretty good show. But you forgot the first rule of performing. Never turn your back on the audience. Please! No! Not so confident or courageous now, are we, princesses? Oh, no! You'll never get away with this! I've heard that one before. Maybe try a different tune next time. <laughs> to Bridal Ward! Get away from my tree! Your tree? I won't let you do this to me. Or my friends. Your friends? They showed me what it means to care about some pony. Huh? <gasps> There's so much you've been hiding from me. Your tree, your friends, and your cutie mark. And all this time, I thought we were friends. No, we weren't. It's so sad. You've got all the power in Equestria, and you still haven't ever felt true friendship. Ha! I have friends! You have to force others to pretend to be your friends, like me. That's control. You ungrateful little pony! You were by yourself for so many moons. All alone. I actually feel really sorry for you. Wow, Misty, all grown up. So empathetic, so kind. <laughs> I always told you, if you want your cutie mark, you have to do what I say. Hip, hip, hip. I want to show you something. What did you want to show me? Well, I don't know if you noticed, but I consider myself a bit of an artist. 
Of course, I noticed all of this beautiful stuff was made by you. You're so creative, Izzy. And you're amazed at making new things out of old things. <gasps> what do you call it again? Oh, yeah. Unicycling. Unicycling, yes, yes, that's it. So, the other day when I was searching for my box of googly eyes in the basement, I found this. <gasps> Is that Sunny's old lantern? Well, her dad made it for her when she was a filly. So, I thought... <gasps> that you'd fix it up for her as a maritime bay day present? Yep, but shh, it has to be a surprise party. I love surprises! Your secret is safe with me. Huff to heart. Zip! 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 Huh? I have been asking you if you want extra cheese on your pizza for like 10 minutes. What's up with you? Oh, sorry. Just thinking about something weird that happened earlier. The thing with Posey? Oh, uh, yeah, that. Same here. How could she not love magic? Earth ponies have never had magic before. Maybe Posey's jealous. Jealous? I know I am. Magic seems a little scary, but it would be pretty cool to be able to levitate things. Like this? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what? You're right, Hitch. That is so much better than flying. So, have you figured out the whole magical wings and horn appearing at random times thing yet? No, and it's been getting worse. point. Magic is unpredictable. Hmm. It may be unpredictable, but it's not dangerous. <laughs> we just need to show the Earth ponies that magic is nothing to be afraid of. It makes Equestria a, a better place. And it's fun! Wow, are you ponies thinking what I'm thinking? I think I might be. All right, every pony. On the count of three. One, two, three. Floating parade! Right? Not exactly, but close. We are going to use Maritime Bay Day as our chance to show off all the amazing things magic can do. Then every pony will remember just how special it is that we have friendship and magic in our lives again. Are you ponies in? Yeah! Definitely, definitely. I'm in! Ugh. Izzy, you were right! This is the same tree from my vision. Let me see. The bunny coin led me here, but then there was a glowing door. Where is it? Every pony split up. Look for that door. This is weird. I like it. <laughs> no door this way. I've got nothing either. did live here when I was small, but then one day I went out collecting Glowpaz crystals and I got lost in the forest. And when I tried to make my way back, Bridalwood was gone. Just gone. <gasps> Misty, your cutie mark, it's glowing stronger. It's doing something to the tree. Look! Pip, I don't need to film this right now. It's way better to be mindful. Whoa. Did anybody get that on video? I... I did that? Oh, whoa. 
I think so. What's that sound? Is the tree vibrating? No, it it sounds like. <gasps> no, it couldn't be. I didn't think they were real. You didn't think what was real? No way! My dad always told me bedtime ponytails about breezies! Wait, wait, this is not content. This is a real moment. Experience it, Pip! Pleasure to meet you. I'm Princess Pip Petals of Zephyr Heights, and you must be... <laughs> Tiny pixie pony of tree? What in the hay are breezies? And most importantly, are they dangerous? What? Of course not. <laughs> They're just excited to see us. <laughs> These two say they haven't seen other ponies for a long time. You know breezy language too? It's our pony language, but at too high of a speed for most to understand them. I can help with that. Watch this. What were you saying again? <laughs> now I'll just slow it down. We haven't seen you. Night market? What's that, Izzy? <gasps> I have no idea! Something in Bridalwood I never knew about? I've gotta see this!
business. Uh, is this thing on? <laughs> well, so I just want to say that I'm sorry to every pony, but especially to the residents of Bridalwood. This forest is your home, and you know it best. You tried to warn me, but I didn't want to listen to you. Or to my friends, who only wanted to help make my dream of this festival come true. I guess I just got so focused on planning the perfect Bridal Woodstock Festival that I forgot to consider Bridalwood and all of the history that comes along with it, even the jinxy stuff. But I know better now, and I want to thank you all for coming to the first and last Bridal Woodstock. The festival is over! Don't stop it now! This is the most fun we've ever had during the Luma Bloom. Now that the Troggles are gone, we're not scared anymore. We want more We want more What do you think, Ruby? <laughs> I think the fans have spoken. Then the show must go on. What are we waiting for? Start the music! Yeah.